This is Michelle from Lavender Dreams. Happy October. Happy last quarter of 2021. So don't forget you still have time to work on your goals for 2021 or start on making changes to your life so that 2022 can be a better year for you. So today I just wanted to talk briefly about confronting our deepest, darkest fears. Story time. So the story starts three weeks ago. Three weeks ago, Friday evening, or Friday morning rather, uh, around one o'clock in the morning, I was braiding my hair and sitting in my living room, sitting at my desk. I see a rat. Or a mouse, whatever it was. <laughs> so I tapped my foot on the ground. It scampered back to under the couch. And then I had to wait till much later to go. So I went and I bought tons of rat traps. Put them all over the house. And I caught the one rat and then got rid of it. Fast forward to a week later. It's Saturday morning around. 8.30 in the morning, I'm about to go throw out the garbage. What crawls into my apartment from an outside, under the door? A snake. <gasps> okay, so I live in the desert. I I know there are snakes, but I've, I think this was the second time I've seen one, but the last time I saw the snake... We were outside, and I think everybody had run away. This snake was really huge. I can't remember what it was. And so we just looked, uh, I'm, I think, um, just a typical normal person who's afraid of snakes. So I am think I, my brain stopped functioning. So I grabbed my broom, I banged on the floor. <laughs> I, I don't know, thing was banging on the floor. So... It changed directions and it went towards the bathroom. So I got two um, two bathrooms, and this is the one I used to sh I, I used to shower in. So it goes into the shower bathroom, and that time I could I, I didn't t I couldn't tell what it was long. I just remember seeing a snake. So I grabbed one of these uh, rat glue traps threw it in there because it tried climbing up the wall and it fell then I, I think it was because it was going towards the, the toilet and I think it was going to shelter there or something so it got stuck part of it got stuck it was its head got stuck on the on the glue trap so I take a picture in this long it's like curled everywhere and so I shared with some people I'm like do you guys know what kind of snake this is Okay, I'm already, there's a snake in my apartment, I'm not, I'm terrified, and my heart is pounding, I'm like, <gasps> trying to stay calm, because I don't like snakes, who likes, uh, um, anyway, and then someone says, oh, that's a viper, that's a desert viper, okay, thank you for the information, so I was like, I'm not going to go near it, <laughs> like right now, I, anything moves I get really t I get I got goosebumps just thinking talking about it so I'm trying to deal with this logically but I'm not processing any information very logically so I called several people and then the maintenance guy was like I am not in the city you don't have to wait until I come back maybe an hour <sighs> so I, <laughs> I called so many people so then my, my one friend, I'm like, she's like, what, what's wrong? I'm like, there's a snake in the apartment. I need you to, to help me stay calm until the maintenance guy comes. So she's like, what, do you know what kind? Send her picture. She's like, oh my God, that's it. I'm like, I know, it's a desert viper. Okay. She's like, okay, so what are you going to do? And then I was like, oh, well, you know, I'm going to be the strong, mean I am. I'm going to put my gloves on. And she's like, don't you dare do anything. You don't know if it's, it could come unstuck from that thing. What are you going to do if it bites you and if you're wearing gloves? And I said, okay, I'm going to leave it alone. So I kept going to check on it, and she stayed on the phone with me. 
Then I was like, oh, why don't I do something? So I did something. Bad idea. So I could see this for about an hour. You could see the tail because I put bags over it because I didn't want to look at it. Yeah, that was when I was still thinking I was going to go handle it myself. And then I said, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> no. And then I couldn't see it. I'm like, I'm not touch I'm not going anywhere. I need that room no more. And I need to stay calm because this maintenance guy is coming. What if I don't hear the door? Because I don't want to go into panic attack. I start crying. And she's like, I gotta go. I'll call you right back. It'll be five minutes. Oh yeah. She left me alone for five minutes. I saw my entire life. Nothing had happened. This is all in my mind. I'm in my living room, the snake, the door's closed. I got stuff on the door. If it's, it's, it's in there, if it, if it leaves, if it's left, it's in the bathroom. It's not coming anywhere near me, but my imagination is running wild. I'm hyperventilating and then I start crying and all rationale is left of the building. And finally, the maintenance guy comes. Yeah, I did hear the doorbell ring, I think, just after I started hyperventilating and crying. And he comes in, he deals with it, and he's like, come and see. I'm like, no. He's like, come and see, make sure it's dead. I'm like, I don't want to see nothing. Just take it out of, just take it with you. Do whatever you got to do. And then, so he took it left the bathroom looking some kind of way then I went and cleaned it up but before he left I'm like can you remove the shower you know the what do you, you remove the shower because I'm not using that bathroom ever again I'm gonna go into use the other bathroom where the washing machine is I'll deal with it he's like you can put I'm like I'm not using that room for a while and it's that's then that's the side where my office is so I'm not using that side of the apartment. So I had to go by the doorstop. And that was another adventure. Uh, I couldn't get it. Eventually I got it on. But wow. That was the most frightening two hours of my life. Not that I was an enemy. Well, the fact that there was a poisonous snake in my apartment. And... I almost did something stupid while trying to deal with it. And I don't, not that I think when something like that happens, we can be logical. But um, if I, I, one thing that my friend did say, if I hadn't thought of throwing the mouse trap in the bathroom, would I be here to tell a story? Because I think it was aggravated. Because, um, you know, the snake was just doing what snakes do, looking for food and looking for a cool place. But it's not the first story that I've heard of snakes popping up. So everybody's like, oh, you live on the ground floor. So then I was talking to a friend of mine. She's like, oh, you, you, you sent the children. And then I was telling her. Um, and then she's like, I don't understand because I, I was speaking in my really bad Arabic. And then I showed her the picture. She's like, oh, let me show you what my kids found upstairs. So I was like, oh, I thought it was because I live on the ground floor. Now you got story, you got snakes. And this, they showed it crawling up. Oh, I was just like, okay, I don't want to see it. I don't want, and she's like, no. And the, and, and then she said, oh, the, the boys, you know, she has, she has, four boys she's like no the boys thought the snake was playing because i know it was like doing this i was like okay that's enough talk about that so it, it just to talk about confronting fears and it, trying to stay calm when you're in a situation is sometimes difficult and it's not logical uh, i don't think I've been in a car accident. I've been in several car accidents and the first time it happened, the first time I was in a car accident, um, I almost went under a bus. And I think that's the same way I felt, excuse me, <clears throat> when 
I heard, oh, that's a poisonous snake. That's in your apartment. But you, yeah, the snake showed up. Now you have to worry about not worry. Now you have to be proactive about making sure that you snake proof or pest proof your apartment, pest proof your house. Um, I've had so on that day I had someone reach out and she talked to me for hours because I was like I don't even know how I slept that day um, because I I couldn't I tried putting the door stop I couldn't it wouldn't fit so I the first night I put aluminum foil into the door I don't know what I was thinking but I eventually got um, the door stop or underneath the door but that was another um, experience. So and then I was thinking, if I had put the doorstop a year ago, I wouldn't have had that experience. So what did I learn? Yeah, well, what I've learned is try to prevent things when those things happen. And don't forget to take a moment out for yourself.